Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik from the WREG-TV News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center. For the most part, not seeing a lot of problems for right now. We may be looking at the possibility of some more showers and thunderstorms into the weekend. We'll talk more about that coming up in your forecast in just a little bit. But as of right now, not going to have to worry about any rainfall across the Mid-South area, which is definitely good news for the commute out there for this morning. A little bit of patchy frost, temperatures again decently close to freezing for this morning, but otherwise not doing too bad across much of the Mid-South area and should be again seeing some fairly quiet conditions into the early part of the weekend. But as you go throughout the later part of the weekend, more chances of showers and thunderstorms into the Mid-South. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. If you're just tuning in and joining us, got some questions about the forecast, drop them into the comments section. We'd love to see where you're from. City and state will do nicely. And of course, if you've got anything in the way of weather reports, we'd love to see those out there as well. So definitely want to share what's going on in and around your particular neck of the woods and stick around for more. If you've never been here before, this is again our exclusive video weather blog keeping you updated as to what's going on with weather in and around West Tennessee, North Mississippi, East Arkansas, in and around the area of Memphis, Tennessee. If you can't stick around for the whole forecast, it's scrolling down in the blue bar at the bottom of your screen or you can pick up more information on our 7 to 10 day forecast at this website address wreg.com slash weather. Questions, concerns, complaints if you absolutely must. All you have to do is send them to me at austin.onic at wreg.com. Let's go ahead and get started this morning with a forecast nutshell for you, taking a look at temperatures on the brisk side early on. Numbers back into around the mid to upper 40s around the time we finish up News Channel 3 live at 9. Lower 60s by lunchtime and mid 60s, that's about where we're going to wind up with a little bit later on today as temperatures will be a little bit cooler thanks to those northeasterly breezes at about 10 miles per hour plus at times and mainly sunshine out there, maybe a few clouds drifting on through from time to time into and around the area. That's where we'll see again some fairly dry conditions for now. The rest of the weekend uh, might be a little bit different on that. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Lee Lloyd going to rain this weekend, want to go fishing. Uh, could be against some, depending on your location. We'll talk about that coming up here uh, in just a little bit for this time. Welcome to everybody else who's tuning in from around the Mid-South area. And again, got any of those weather reports out there, let us know. And we'll feature those into and around the area coming up in just a little bit. Again, temperatures in the Mid-South not doing too bad. We'll take a look at WeatherNet 3 conditions here coming up here uh, in just a little bit. So stick around for more on that. Heidelberg Elementary, blue skies, getting the school day started in Clarksdale, Mississippi. Decent conditions into and around the area for right now. Uh, Burt Bishop, did I not see 80% chance of rain Saturday when the other channels showed it on Sunday. I can't personally speak for what you did or did not see. If it's on my forecast, you'll see it here coming up here in just a little bit. But yes, there was a chance of it coming up late Saturday night. So that does count as Saturday. So we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little while. Rhodes College from the Weather Underground page showing again a lot of blue skies and sunlight looking back toward the northwest from around central Memphis. From another university just down the roadway, Ole Miss, at the Oxford, Mississippi, showing a decent bit of sunshine out there. Astronomy open house tonight at the Kennan Observatory on campus just past sunset. Totally free if you'd like to attend. If you'd like more information, join me on my Facebook page, and we'll have some more details on that coming up in just a little bit. Looking back toward Poplar and Mendenhall on our Germantown Parkway camera, Poplar Pike and Germantown Road, everything moving along pretty well. The water towers north of Germantown High School, good visibility seen here. Bit on the brisk side with temperatures back in the mid to upper 40s. We also have, again, winds north northeast at about 10 miles an hour. So we do have a bit of a wind chill out there. So definitely want to keep up to date with that for this morning. If you're heading out the door pretty soon or anybody else is going to be sticking around out there early on. Traffic moving along pretty well right at the peak of rush hour just past 8 o'clock in the morning. We'll have more traffic and weather for you coming up at 825 and 855 as well. So stick around for more there. In the meantime, the construction zone around I-240 and Poplar, a lot of work going on overnight. Not so much going on right now. So it looks like everything rush hour wise is moving along pretty nicely here. Delays at Memphis International Airport, Terminal, Tower, 
runways, a little bit less busy than what it was early this morning as all the FedEx planes fanned out from across the area. Sunny skies, winds a little bit breezier, so you're seeing the camera kind of wobbly by just a little bit, but no delays to report at this time, so good news on that. Likewise, no delays showing up across the continental United States. More of this information on your computer. All you have to do is go to this website address, fly.faa.gov. You can also link to it here at wrhe.com. Storm Tracker 3S radar, nothing to show you in the way of precipitation. Clean sweeps across the area. Should remain that way for about another 36 hours or so, and then some other changes head our way. If you haven't covered up the plants by now, it's probably a little late. Frost advisory for these counties, this will be again in effect until 9 o'clock this morning. But temperatures are already on the rise, so I'm expecting the National Weather Service to cancel a good portion of this coming up a little bit later. As of right now, again, not that much going on. We are watching again for the possibility of some more activity from out west as a new storm system gets organized. It's over the Four Corners area right across the Great Basin and into the desert southwest. That's going to be moving its way through the area into the next couple of days. Now when it's out here, it's way up in the atmosphere because the Rockies do a very good job of pushing that storm system upwards into the atmosphere. As it gets a little bit closer out here into the Plain States, it heads off the Rockies and down into the Plains, which gives it a lot more room to maneuver and to stir up a lot more energy. So it's decently quiet right now. Doesn't look like much is happening happening, which in fact, there's not, but as this gets closer to us, we're going to be seeing a lot more activity. Most of it should be diving southward, so we're going to catch kind of the northern fringe of this system, which means just scattered chances of showers and thunderstorms, but enough for the weekend to possibly cause some problems. Temperatures rising, some of the coolest numbers this morning back in the lower 30s on live real-time WeatherNet 3. Again, you can access that information here at wreg.com slash weather. Currently in the mid to upper 40s across much of the area, and winds occasionally Occasionally picking up to 10 miles per hour plus, so we do have, again, some wind chills into and around the area. Mary Grisham, no more severe weather. I wish I could say we're going to keep all of it out of here, but unfortunately we need to keep up to date on that. We are kind of sliding down toward the summer doldrums, if you want to call them that, so we're not seeing the peak of the severe weather season too much anymore. We should see a pretty good reduction in the chance of severe weather over the next few days and weeks. Doesn't mean that it can't happen, though, so keep attuned to the weather experts again for more information on that. Larry Pfeiffer, hope I'm saying that right, Pfeiffer from around uh, the area of Walls, Mississippi, yard work plenty. Yeah, I know that feeling, so a uh, lot more yard work at House Ana coming up later on, so thanks for reminding me to get that done after the dishwasher repair guy gets finished later on today. Mid to upper 50s by lunchtime, picking up the kids from school later on today. Temperatures back in the mid-60s, winds out of the northeast, and that's going to cool the temperatures off by just a little bit. Not by much, but enough to be noticeable. Normal for this time of the year, lower 70s. We're going to be down in about the mid to upper 60s by the time we get done with dinner and around sunset time later on tonight. News Channel 3 at 10, temperatures in the lower to mid 50s, and starting off daybreak tomorrow, mainly clear skies, but back to the west, we got again that gray color right there. That's where the computer is showing the possibility of clouds moving its way through, so hopefully we'll get a decent sunrise, but more clouds on their way throughout the rest of the day tomorrow. Today, Dry, kind of chilly starting things off, but also, again, that possibility of some decently mild temperatures. Lots of sunshine out there, so a great way to end the week. No problem at all for right now. Uh, Michelle Bowen, hope I'm saying Bowen, hope I'm saying that right. Uh, what about Saturday? Big softball game going on. Well, unfortunately, right now, uh, doesn't look too bad out there across much of the Mid-South for right now, but getting into Saturday night, that could be just a bit of a problem out there. Eddie, Spain, 26 degrees this morning, feels like 42 in Rockford, Illinois. Cool. Thanks a lot for joining us, and nice satellite pictures from up that area, watching the snow melt from the south as those warmer temperatures moved on through. Now, again, for tomorrow, I don't think we're going to be seeing a washout. I think it's going to start off mostly sunny, more clouds throughout much of the rest of the day. I don't think we're going to see too much in the way of rainfall until late in the area coming up Saturday evening or so into and around the Mid-South, and that's going to be about the best chance of it for right now. So, Burt Bishop, if you're still watching, yes, you did see a chance of showers and thunderstorms out there, but notice the PM marker for right now. I don't think we're going to be seeing too much out there until after sunset, at least, moving in from the west-northwest. That's the way it looks like right now, but that could change, so stay tuned for more updates on that. Now, getting into the rest of the forecast for Saturday into Sunday, 
Showers and thunderstorms start very late Saturday evening, but then on Sunday we see that chance of showers and thunderstorms extended pretty much throughout the rest of the day. So pre-midnight hours, late evening on Saturday, heading out for dinner and a movie, or for those of you out there, uh, let's see, Michelle Bowen with softball games. I think the later you go on Saturday evening, the better chance you're going to have of getting the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms out there. So most of Saturday looks okay. Saturday night and following more showers, more thunderstorms into and around Sunday. And if you have anything outdoors Sunday, I would definitely have a plan B for indoors ready to go. Next Monday, a little bit of extra time to get to where you're going just to be on the safe side as we see rain going into the area again to and from work and school on Monday. So commute time, both directions could be a problem on Monday. Light scattered chances of showers Tuesday into Wednesday. Doesn't look like much right now. Here's the really neat thing. Temperatures may be a little cooler on Sunday, staying in the mid to upper 60s to lower 70s as we go throughout the rest of this next week. Minimal chances of rainfall Tuesday and Wednesday, clearing out and drying out by just a bit. And then as we go into and around Sunday, temperatures going back into around the lower 60s or so. So a little bit cooler, not by much, but at least we're not seeing those frosty temperatures out there into the course of the next several days into and around that area. Burt Bishop, two tons of pea gravel to get off the trailer into the flower beds. Uh, if you've got a shovel or two to spare on that, I'm putting in a fire pit in my backyard, and I could use some filler gravel for that, but uh, you're probably going to need it more for yours than mine anyway for right now. So for the time being, again, thanks a lot for it. Again, I hope the yard work goes well out there. And chances of rain for right now, again, the weekend is what we're going to be watching here more than anything else. Severe weather chances, again, we're not looking at too much of anything at the time being. South of us, there'll be a better chance of severe weather, but minimal for right now. So into the Mid-South for late Saturday, early Early Sunday. Thunderstorms, yes. Not anticipating severe weather at this time, so definitely good news where it comes to that. No question about that for the time being, at least for now. Shannon Gray, good morning from Olive Branch, and thanks to everybody else uh, for checking in uh, for this morning and stopping on by. Louie Haskett, weather pup, suggesting that y'all quit texting Winter and telling her you miss her, just let it go. And a nice view from the sunrise in and around northeast Arkansas, frequent contributor here to our Weather Pictures program. Thank you for that. William underscore Frog from around Collierville, Tennessee, from his Mavic Pro Drone 5X HDR. Nice view of sunset in and around the area of Collierville, looking off to the west. And if I'm not mistaken, you can just almost see the area around Poplar and Mendenhall, the towers, showing up in that location. And from our own producer extraordinaire, Zach Downs, nice picture when I called for weather pictures out there. He very nice, obligingly responded with a nice picture of me talking about wanting to get weather pictures in here. So a very nice view in and around the area. So thank you very much to Mr. Zach for that. <laughs> sitting on the other side of the studio right there. Just a nice little shout out to some of the people we have working here behind the scenes out across the News Channel 3. If you've got weather pictures, we'd love to show them on air, but again, if we don't send them in, I can't show them. So if you have them, please send them along to me. We're on several social media networks. And again, if you'd like to tweet them to me at aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter, Instagram, aonic no underscore necessary WREG3, and also on Facebook at Austin Onic WREG, which we will be live at coming up a little bit later on this morning if you'd like to check out more weather information online check out my forecast with bob and josh on talkback live sports chat extraordinaire coming up this morning from 8 to 10 a.m on a.m 7 30 around the metro area if you're outside the signal area and you can't pick them up dial them up online at talkbacklivenetwork.org picking up our weather experts forecast monday through friday and if you'd like to tune in for more during the weekend all you have to do is listen in on the east arkansas broadcast network stations country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. If you're away from your computer and want to check in with the forecast, listen in on the radio, and we'll keep you updated there. Weather where the troops are and a look at potential severe weather chances as we go into the weekend. I'll have more on that in just about two hours on my Facebook, Periscope, and Twitter pages. So definitely want to stay tuned for more on that. Again, that'll be coming up right after we finish up News Channel 3 live at 9 and get our mid-morning updates recorded 
We do a lot of stuff in the in the studio here between about 10 o'clock and 10.30, so roughly about 10.30 or in the morning or so, and we'll keep you updated on that for right now. Uh, Rose M.K. Witham Smith, will it freeze anytime soon? I think we've kind of turned the corner on that. I don't think we have too much in the way of frost expected, at least according to what the forecast says. So, so far it's going to be chilly in the mornings, but not frosty, so good news again for there, but we'll keep our eyes on that forecast to see if it changes anytime soon. And Lawana Hubble Baker, good morning. Working on some good weather for you. Thanks a lot for tuning in. And Brenda Batty's Harper, hope I'm saying that right. Two point typeface is very difficult to uh, see with bifocals on there. Diane Pruitt Hayes, horse farm with Jim Saturday, need good weather. Most Saturday looks okay. If there's any changes in that forecast, we'll have more on that coming up throughout the rest of the morning, so stay tuned for more on that. I've got as you hop off here so we can get traffic set up and weather. Corey is off this morning as well as Todd, so filling in for both traffic and weather. Thanking my producer extraordinaire, Eric Lipford, for filling in on traffic duties this morning. Also across... Uh, executive producer, pardon me. I'm sorry about that. So th th thank, thank again, a lot of great people working around here behind the scenes that you never see that help me get stuff done. So thanks a lot to everybody on stuff like that. But again, tune in for more on the forecast. I'll be here throughout the rest of the weekend. Again, if you have any questions or ideas about what we can feature on here for your netcast, all you have to do is email me at austin.onic at wreg.com. And keep it tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the course of the rest of the weekend, and we'll keep you advised on everything going on with the rest of the forecast. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for this morning's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. More coming up throughout the rest of Friday on News Channel 3 on air and online.